And it's getting to be about summertime, so I'll give you guys a quick bonus show here. Even though I could probably do this on another time, but this is my uh, Spec Ops Molly Gear Vest. Uh, this is one I had made custom for me a couple years ago. Now, I, I kicked this thing out here because uh, a lot of people are getting into Molly Gear right now because they're getting into scenario gaming and they're kind of liking the whole idea of having something that's modular. But the problem is, is they're not putting the Molly Gear onto their vest or whatever their, uh, their carrying equipment is. They're not doing it right. I can name one person from Living Legends last year, and actually he's going to remain nameless, but uh, I'll just say he's from Tech PB, and it's not Mike, uh, who put his Molly Gear on wrong, and it was all floppy, and it just wasn't going to work for him. So this is a quick video to show you how to attach Molly Gear to a load-bearing vest like this one. All right, I'm going to ask for you guys forgiveness now because this is going to look really bad. I'm filming this in reverse in a viewfinder with heavy glare, so I can't really see the monitor. But you guys, this will give you the idea. Um, what I'm doing in this case is I'm swapping my vest over. Originally, it had uh, four pods like these on the back, all held on by the Molly gear. But let's say I want to switch to stock class, so I'm going to swap to these 10 round tubes right here. Now, the first thing you notice about Molly gear is that it has these. Uh, ladder type of uh, webbing in it, just like that. And the Molly Gear itself also has the ladder type webbing in it all along it. This is what makes it so modular, and this is what makes it yell universal. You can buy any piece of Molly Gear and attach it to almost any other piece of Molly Gear carrier. I say almost because there's a couple of exceptions to the rule, but uh, those are few and far between. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to dry fit this uh, because I want to make sure that it's in the right position and I want to make sure that I have enough of these for enough of these. For each one of these, it's going to go into the gaps between the ladder on here. So we're going to dry fit it just like this to make sure that I have enough space. And there we go, that should work. Now in this case, I know that the, the, this ha the, panel, the back panel has 12 across, 12 of these loops across, so I want to put this in the middle of this back section. So it's going to be three in, and the other one will be three in as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to weave this in just like this. So we're going to weave the straps into the Molly gear first, onto the vest, or whatever the carrier happens to be. If you're using a, like a front vest, you would put it on the front vest first, or if you have a belt system on, you'd put it on that first. Now you're going to weave it through the actual piece of Molly gear itself, whatever, the, whatever you're attaching to the vest just like that. Then you're going to tighten it down to make sure there's no excess strap. And then we're going to repeat this step all the way down the molly vest. The last couple are always the hardest. Now, one thing you'll notice is that I could just attach it right here, but to really get a solid, to really get a solid keep on it, you want to make sure that the last weave that you make is actually on the platform itself. So in this case, the last weave is going to be on the vest right here on the bottom of it. And I hope I'm on camera with this. Yes, I am. All right. And I'm going to pull these nice and tight. Now this has a snap system. So we're just going to snap these shut on both sides. And I'm now ready to play stock class with my Molly gear. Now that's the right way to do it. Let me show you guys the wrong way to do it and the way that uh, this individual did. And I'm not passing judgment here because if you don't, you know, if you don't ask, you don't learn. Now what a lot, what some people will do is they'll cheat. So what they'll do is they'll actually attach the molly gear to the top and then strap it down on the bottom like that. And they'll say, okay, I'm done. And then they'll bring this over and they will snap it shut like that. But you'll notice one thing about that is that now this is really loose and this is going to flop around. Now for 10 round tubes that's not going to be really a big deal. If you're doing two pods that are full of paint then it starts to become a really big deal. So you want to actually take a little bit of time and actually weave it all the way through so that you have a nice solid it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to budge on you. There are different ways to do molly gear. Now there are um, other systems that exist out there to make them, the weaving process faster. Uh, there's something out there called malice clips, which I'm not exactly sure how they work, but you can probably find several videos on YouTube to explain those. And there's uh, other systems as well. There's a lot of um, third-party systems that work in the same principle, but they all use the same basic carrier system. So they all have the one-inch loops. 
So that's your basic primer on Molly gear. Now, if you've got any questions about how the Molly gear works or things like that, feel free to leave comments down below. And myself or one of the other regulars will be more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, or you can go over to one of the several forums that I frequent. I'm on Tech PB a bit and I'm on uh, Spec Ops a lot. And feel free to comment there and there'll be somebody there who'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Now, as far as uh, this piece of equipment goes, where did I get the Molly gear for stock class? Well, um, this is actually a custom job from Spec Ops Paintball way back when. And uh, if you were to ask Mo very, very, very nicely and tell him that you want the 10 round tubes on the vertical platform just like this, and he might still remember what you're talking about. So the um, best thing you can do is go into Spec Ops and bug Mo. And I can already see that I'm going to get a lot of hate mail from Mo. And I usually make it a, a point to not make bald people really pissed off, but I'll make an exception this time. And say hi to the dog for me, too. <laughs>